In this video, we're going to discuss gravimetric analysis, the process of using precipitation reactions to quantitatively measure the concentration of solutions. Consider a solution with an unknown concentration of copper two ions. We can determine the amount of copper two in solution by adding hydroxide ions and watching the copper hydroxide precipitate. In order to ensure that all the copper ions precipitate out of solution, two conditions must be met. One, we need to make sure that the hydroxide ion is added quantitatively, meaning that the number of moles of hydroxide ion is at least equal to the number of moles of copper ion, if not greater. And two, that the KSP for the formation of the product is very, very small, meaning that the K for the reaction is written above is very, very large. In this case, the KSP is 10 to the minus 20, which means that the formation of copper hydroxide will have a K of 10 to the positive 20, and we can expect that all of the copper ions will precipitate. There are three general ways in which precipitation takes place, nucleation, particle growth, and homogeneous precipitation. In the absence of any external factors, nucleation will be the mechanism by which most precipitations take place. And this is characterized by a very fast precipitation, but unfortunately one that also leads to a very, very small particle size. This can be very, very difficult for quantitative work because when we have a small particle size, we end up clogging filters and it becomes very difficult to collect all of the precipitate. Particle growth usually happens when you involve heat in the process of precipitation and vigorous amounts of stirring. This will lead, instead of nucleation, which will happen very quickly in small particles, this will lead to larger crystals and particles that will have a larger size. And this will be very useful for collecting our precipitate. Homogeneous precipitation refers to the process of adding the precipitating agent very, very slowly. And as a result, this again will lead to larger particle size, larger precipitates, and things that are easier to separate when going to do the analysis. Ideally, we would use particle growth and or homogeneous precipitation to make precipitates that will be analyzed for gravimetric analyses. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful. For other chemistry videos, please log on to our website or our Facebook group. Links are in the description.